We are back, and you know what? If you live in Arizona, you probably have a favorite Mexican food restaurant, but most likely you are having Sonoran-style food. Chef Arturo is here from Tacos Chilango, where they specialize in the cuisine of South Central Mexico. It's a little bit different what they have in Mexico City. That's right, Teresa. That's right, Teresa. Very, very uh, traditional food from Mexico City. That's the, the term Chilango means somebody from Mexico City. And uh, as you said, so much of the Mexican food here is, is influenced by Sonora and Chihuahua in the north. We are, uh, both my business partner and I are both from Mexico City, and we really try to bring the, the food that you find on the streets of Mexico City to, uh, to our, our customers, um, including the uh, machete that we have here, the Alpa store, and the mesquite grilled meats, including carne asada and uh, pollo asado. Uh, Chef, can we start with the machete? Because obviously this is in the shape of, the, of a machete. Right. Um, talk to me about this. It looks like a very elongated taco, a Correct. tall, tall taco. Exactly, exactly. So it's a 14-inch uh, hand, handmade tortilla made of masa, right? And we fill it with whatever, whatever uh, toppings or whatever ingredients you like. This particular one is, is a very common one uh, in Mexico City. It's called campechano. Campechano is sort of a smorgasbord of, of meats, right? Uh, this one has al pastor, carne asada, and, and then the uh, uh, longaniza, which is a Mexico City-style sausage. Right, and then we also have the Mexican style uh, asadero cheese, which is almost like a Mexican mozzarella in texture. And then, as I said, we make it with the masa, and uh, we, we hand, roll it, hand roll it to order. So a very unique item, no one else serves it. It looks gorgeous. How many of those can you eat? Uh, about one and a half. Just about yeah, one, and one, and a half, one and a half, and then you're done? But, yeah, they're definitely shareable, though. <laughs> and now here's a more recognizable tacos, and this is something that you're known for. Tell us about this. So Al Pastor, uh, most people would, uh, who know of Mexico City have heard of the Al Pastor taco, right? Um, uh, and some folks also may know or may not know that uh, the Alpa store was influenced by, uh, emerged as the, originally as a lamb taco uh, when the, in eight, 18th century or late uh, 18th century when the Lebanese immigrants came to Mexico City and uh, introduced it with lamb, lamb shawarma, right, on the vertical spit. Uh, however, we do it in Mexico City with uh, the pork instead of the lamb. This is so interesting. I had never heard of a Lebanese influenced taco. And yeah. I'm told it's delicious. I think it's a reason to check out Tacos Chilango. It's something different. And again, it used to be made with goat milk in the Lebanese style, or goat meat, I should say, right. in the Lebanese style. Exactly, exactly. And then uh, all, all of our, uh, sort of as a tip of the hat to Sonora and, and, and uh, Southern Arizona with all the mesquite trees everywhere, we use mesquite wood to, to grill our meats. Nice. So we, we do grill the, 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 the chicken and, and the uh, asada over mesquite every morning. Uh, on, on a mesquite tri-tip style grill. So. Mm, so this is your basic carne asada? Correct, correct. And here's chicken? Correct. You grill it every morning on, on the mesquite? That's right. Okay. That's right. And this looks beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Thank like you, Teresa. Spe you know, unique flavors. Yeah, yeah, we, we definitely uh, put a lot of love into it. Um, you know, carne asada means grilled meat, so I believe if you're, if you're talking about carne asada, there you see the video. The video shows kind of how we grill the meat every morning, and, and carne asada meaning grilled meat. If you go to a place and they're, and they're doing it on a flat top or, or they're boiling the meat, that's not carne asada. So. If I see somebody boiling meat, Arturo, I'm out. Yeah, that's right. I won't put up with that. <laughs> that's, that's right. A bagel that's right. should be boiled. <laughs> that's right. Yes, but, but, but you want your meat to look like this, yep. right? Yeah, on you a, see on the live fire. flame. Yeah, there's nothing like the live flame on the meat. The flavor it gives it, for sure. So, Chef Arturo, if people are looking to try the cuisine of South Central Mexico, a little bit different, I know you have some locations throughout the West Valley. Where can people go to find you and try the machete or the al pastor? We do. We have uh, two locations currently, one in, in Avondale and one in Litchfield Park, the border of Litchfield Park and Buckeye out in the West Valley. Uh, we've also been very blessed and uh, just secured a third location coming next year in Surprise. So uh, congratulations. Come, come Thank you so much. Thank That's you. a surprise. <laughs> Three locations. Did yeah. you think that was going to happen? No, no. We, we started this, me and my business partner, we started this in October of 20 and, and uh, we've, we've grown and we're very grateful to the community for the support, for sure. Well, Chef, we're really, really happy to have you. Thank you so much for sharing this beautiful cuisine of Mexico City and I hope that some of our viewers will go check it out. It's Tacos Chilango. Chilango, as we all just learned, means yeah. somebody from Mexico City. That's right. I love how you say it, by the way. Perfect. I'm working on it. I'm working <laughs> on it.